Hello friends, welcome to automation community. Today in this video, we are going to discuss about a timer known as T-OFF. T-OFF An OFF delay timer is used to keep the output energized for a time period after the instruction become false. The length of the time delay can be adjusted by changing the preset value. So, when input is turned on, the output will be turned on. And then, when input is turned off, then the output will still remain on for some time. So, it delays. So, let's move to Eco Structure Machine Expert where we will draw a ladder diagram and use timer T off. I will open Eco Structure Machine Expert Basic. I will keep read protection as inactive and write protection as inactive as well and then click on apply. Then I will go to configuration tab. So here is a list of different logic controllers. I will select TM221C24R. I will click on it and drag it to here. Do you want to replace? You may lose some features and associated configurations. I will click on yes. Then I can also go to serial line where I will select protocol as TMS2GDB and then click on apply. After that I will go to programming tab. So here I will be drawing ladder diagram and use timer T off. So I can also click on this option to set a full screen mode. Then I can also zoom into it like this. So firstly, I will insert a normally open contact and I will assign address to it as I 0.1 and then I will assign address, I will assign symbol to it as switch or input. Yes, and then I will insert a coil here. And I will assign address to the coil as Q 0.0. I will also add symbol to it as output 1 or output 0. Yes. So when input is turned on or I can say like when input is true, output 0 will be true. And then when input is false, when you turn off the input, the output 0 will be off. So, to keep the output on for some time, even when input is turned off, we will use a timer here and that will be T off. And I will change time base to 1 second and preset value as 10 for example and then click on apply. So here when input is turned on output 0 will be on and then when input is turned off output 0 will still remain on for some time and it will remain on for 10 seconds. So it delays. So when input is turned off output 0 should turn off immediately. But as we have used a timer T off here, it delays. So after some time, it delays and output 0 becomes false after some time, that is after 10 seconds. So I will exit full screen and then I will compile the program. And then I will go to commissioning and launch simulator.
and then I will start controller to do so click OK. So I will go to programming and click on full screen mode. So when I turn on input, output 0 will be true and then when I turn off input, output 0 still remains true. So it will remain true even when input is turned off for 10 seconds as we have set the value as 10 seconds. So after 10 seconds, output 0 will be false. So again, when I turn on input, output 0 will be on and then when I turn off the input, output 0 will remain on for 10 seconds. So it delays off. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and after that output 0 become false. So I will exit full screen mode and then I will go to commissioning and stop simulator. And then I will go to programming and click on full screen mode. So here I will insert one more coil and then I will connect it like this. And then I will assign address to the coil as Q0.1. I will also add symbol to it as output 1. Yes. And then I will use timer and that will be T off. I will change time base to 1 second and reset value as 15 and then apply. So when I turn on input that is I 0.0, .0 output 0 and output 1 will be on and then when I turn off input output 0 and output 1 will still remain on for some time. Output 0 will remain on for 10 seconds and output 1 will remain on for 15 seconds when input is turned off. And after that, after 10 seconds, output 0 will be turned off and output 1 will be turned off after 15 seconds. So I will exit full screen mode. I will compile the program. And then I will go to commissioning where I will launch simulator. And then I will start controller to do so click OK. So I'll go to programming and click on full screen mode. So when I turn on switch, both the outputs will be on. That is output 0 is true and output 1 is also true. And then when I turn off input, then output 0 and output 1 still remain on. Output 0 will be off after 10 seconds and output 1 will be off after 15 seconds. 8, 9, 10 and after 10 seconds output 0 will be off. 12, 13, 14, 15 and after 15 seconds output 1 will be off. It was all about timer that is T off. Thank you for watching.